Hi, in this video, I'll be showing you problem number 8 and 9 of the practice exam 2. Problem number 8. Factor 9z square minus 17z minus 2. So this is a problem where the leading coefficient is not 1. Now you multiply 9z squared with the negative 2. So 9z squared times negative 2 which is negative 18z squared. Now you have to split the middle term which is negative 17z a sum of two terms. So where the sum becomes negative 17z and the product becomes ne negative 18z squared. That is 9z squared minus 17z can be written as negative 18z plus z then minus 2. Now you group the terms by combining the first two terms together and the last two terms together. In the first two terms 9z is common then inside the parenthesis you will have to write z minus 2. In the last two terms 1 is a common factor pull that out times inside the parentheses you write z minus 2. Now in these two terms z minus 2 is a common factor so which can be pulled out entirely. Then you are left with 9z from the first term plus 1 from the second term. Write those two terms inside the parentheses. Either you can leave the answer this way or you can also write and switch the two factors and write 9z plus 1 times z minus 2. Problem number 9. Factor 3x squared plus 14xy plus 15y squared. Here also the leading coefficient is more than 1. So first multiply the first and the last coefficient which is 3 times 15, 45. Now we have to break the middle term into two parts. When you add you get a 14xy. When you multiply you get 45x square y square. So it is 3x square. So 14xy can be written as 9xy plus 5xy plus 15y square. So when you add 9 and 5 is 14. When you multiply 9 and 5 you get 45x square y square. Now you group the terms as we did the previous problem. First two together and the last two together. In the first two terms 3x is a common factor. Pull that out and then you are left with the x plus 3y. Then in the second two 5y is a common factor. Then you are left with the x plus 3y. Now you have two terms in which x plus 3y is a common factor. So x plus 3y can be pulled out as a common factor for both these two terms. And then inside you can write whatever is left out 3x from the first plus 5y from the second. Either you can leave the answer the way it is. Or you can switch the two factors and write 3x plus 5y first and then x plus 3y as a second factor. Hope this video helps.